What's going on YouTube? 65 Rider here. Thank you for tuning in. Today we'll be uh, doing a quick unboxing video on my new helmet. I ordered this a couple of days ago. Um, it's a Shoei RFSR. Uh, basically it's in the black color and it's the medium size. Um, I've been waiting to get a Shoei for a while and decided to pull the trigger this past weekend because as much as I love my Rurock, it's not the best. <laughs> so this is a Rurock Atlas 1.0. Um, and as you can see, it's been, it's been through some, uh, some hard times. It's, uh, it's actually less than a year old, but it was my everyday helmet. Um, I enjoyed it. I love the way it looks, but unfortunately it's way too loud for me. And it's a little stiff on the inside. So I'm hoping this replacement will be a much better helmet. As you know, you know, Shoei, it's a brand name. It is more of a premium type of helmet, even though the RF SR is on the lower premium side, I wanna say, compared to the RF 1200 and so on. Um, but from my reviews and my research that I've read, um, these are actually the best for uh, cruiser type of motorcycles. And if you guys been following me for a little while, you know I ride a 2020 Harley Softail Street Bob um, with that upright type of ride. And so that's why I think this is the best helmet for, for my situation. All right, so we'll go ahead and get this unboxed. Basically, this is pretty cool because once you unbox it, it actually comes in, uh, with a pin lock. As you guys are aware, or might know or might not know, the pin lock uh, is basically an anti-fog resistant, uh, and it goes on the inside like that. Um, or at least I think, because I haven't actually had a pin lock before, but I'm guessing it goes on the inside. Um, get, I guess we'll have to read more instruction. Yeah, I've, I've never seen this, but from what I hear, uh, it's actually really helpful. Apparently, like, it's not like where you get a little bit of fog or whatever. No, it's you just don't get fog whatsoever. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that, especially because I wear eyeglasses when I ride. So I'll put this guy right here and continue on with the unboxing. Ooh, this is cool packaging. All right, so what do, we, what do they give you here? Let's see. All right, so it looks like we got a chin curtain over here, which is pretty cool. That should help out with the, oh yeah, it's a chin curtain and the, the little nose piece. Got a little bit of silicone. Silicone oil, okay. We'll figure out what this thing does and I'll, I'll report back to you guys. All right, moving on, here's the helmet. So I, Here we go, good packaging. Seems pretty standard for, you know, what we get with different helmets. And nothing else, bye. So yeah, um, I'm, I'm usually a medium size across all my past helmets. Uh, when I first started riding, I used to have an Arai. Um, I love that helmet so much. I actually still have it, but it's like eight or nine years old, so it's just sitting there, I never use it anymore. And then I bought this guy right when I bought my motorcycle. Um, hoping that it was a good helmet. It, honestly, it served its purpose. But as I started doing longer rides and stuff like that, uh, the wind noise, I just couldn't take it anymore. Plus like, I don't know if you can see this really quickly, but on the inside, the padding is just like, yeah, you see it right there. It's just, it's not soft enough. It's really hard. After a while, you just get a headache. I'm pretty sure the newer ones are are better, like the Atlas 2 and the 3. But as I've, uh, I don't know if a lot of people have heard, but with uh, there were some issues with the sizing when it hit, when it came to the Atlas 3.0. So yeah, I don't know. Well, as we continue on here, we'll go ahead and take this little guy. I've actually never seen one of these in person and I've never tried it on, so I'm pretty excited for that. Oh, and I also got a 
uh, blacked out visor for it because like I said, I wear sun uh, eyeglasses and I just can't deal with the sun in the morning, especially down here in the Florida heat. All right, well, look at this. Oh, this is pretty. So we got the gloss black over here instead of the matte black like I did with the um, with the Rurock. Uh, I'm liking it so far. Wow, look at it. Ah, uh, this will match my bike so well. How exciting. Man, I need me one of those little donuts to put the helmet on. All right, so it's Snell approved and it's DOT certified. And it's a showy, so, dude, it's so light. I think this comes in at uh, three pounds, I wanna say, three point something pounds. I'll put it in the description for you guys and I'll probably add a little note about it um, just to be sure, but it's so light compared to this. Oh yeah, but I mean, with this guy, I got the little GoPro mount, I got the uh, the Sino over here, so. But yeah, it looks like so, so this one comes in with the, with the little uh, vents up here, which is pretty cool. I think it comes with a vent down here as well. Oh, look at that. So this is going to be a struggle putting the GoPro mount on it. I might have to actually get the, the mount that hooks up from the side. Hmm. Yeah, I struggled with this one as well, as you guys can see, because of the two vents over here and that like Darth Vader -y look. But I don't know. The angle looked good, especially that the camera has that uh, super view. So that helps. Um, yeah, I shoot with a GoPro Hero 7 uh, black. And if you guys want to know the story about how I bought that one, watch the last video. I'll link it up here. Cool. So as we get on with it, it looks like, um, yeah, let's open it up. Ooh, look at that. So it has, all right. So it's got one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different, um, Oh man, I can already feel how much softer this is. Yeah, so seven different levels. You can adjust it like if you if you ever get hot or whatever, you can go all the way down to here if you want. You see that little gap? And then it closes all the way, which I love. Oh man, I can't wait to ride with this. From what I hear, this is a pretty decently quiet helmet. Uh, probably we'll still have to hit, wear some earplugs on the highway, um, but that's fine. Uh, and this comes with a D-ring compared to... The one thing I gotta say, gotta give them credit. The one thing I really love about this is the little fidlock mechanism. Check this out. Yep, that's it. See, it doesn't even come up anymore, but all you gotta do is do this little thing and you're good. It's like a super, super strong magnet. Um, I know there was a couple of videos about the effectiveness of it and whatnot. Um, I think it's cool. It was it was pretty cool because a couple of days ago I started riding and I had forgotten to tie my helmet um, and I just used one hand to hook it up. Probably can't do that with the D-ring, but it's cool. I mean, this is what I'm used to in the past anyway, um, so it's pretty cool. But yeah, um, this is the, you know, like I said, an unboxing video. I'll probably release another one while uh, wearing it and out on the bike riding it and I'll give my thoughts on it. Um, but I have to hook up the GoPro mount and everything on it first before I do that. If you enjoyed this video, got any value out of it, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm hoping to put out videos every week. Uh, and that includes, you know, some moto vlogs, some install videos, and quick reviews like this. Um, whether, whether it's reviews on things I did on the bike, or things like, you know, just buying new gear. I mean, I just got these new uh, riding jeans that I really like, and I like it because they're stretchy. So not only are they protective, but they're very comfortable as well. They're like, um, they got that... 
All right, well, um, thank you guys uh, for tuning in once again. Um, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, uh, hit, hit that bell icon so you guys are notified every time I post up a video. And let me, go, let me know what you guys think about um, the show in the comments. I'd love to get all your, your thoughts and views about it. Um, yeah, thank you guys.